welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and two brand new things just dropped this weekend. So many new things that keep coming. I'm having trouble keeping up. Uh, it seems like I'm making videos for new things like every day. Ah, so anyway, so then today is going to be my first impression of the Skeeter convertible crossbody. So I do have the original mini Skeeter um, with the, the smaller opening. Um, I have not gotten the newer one with the wider opening. Um, probably not going to get one anytime soon unless the price comes down really low. Um, I just, uh, I don't think I need one. Um, even the other one that I have, I haven't really used much of because I tend to use either my roundabout or I use my coops. Um, I haven't really found a time when my Skeeter was the better way to go. So, um, anyway, that being said, um, I don't know. I'll see how this one goes. So I always wondered why it was called the mini Skeeter, why it wasn't just called a Skeeter. Um, I assume that maybe in the past there was a Skeeter and uh, this was just the minier version. As it turns out, the Skeeter was coming. <laughs> so I'm wondering if these things all kind of got out of order. I don't know. Anyway, so that being said, let's take a peek here. So today it is on sale. Uh, actually, maybe it's for the weekend. I'm not actually sure. Um, for Canadians for $58.10 on off of a hundred, so it's forty-one percent off. Very good price, very tempting. Um, so it's going to be hard for me to maybe not get one of these. But let's just take a look at the, at the colors. So right off here, it looks like magenta, yeah. And I'm assuming this, yep, yeah, the uh, interior is the same. Kelly green, that's pretty cute. If you're into Kelly green, what's the entire? Oh, okay, so it's the it's the bloom whatever that is. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. Bloom gray. Anyway, um, okay, let's see. Bright floral, very cute. Uh, butterfly gray, very popular. Camo taupe. Ooh, that's, is that different? Or does it just look different? Like, it, it looks a little more white. It doesn't look as creamy. Um, or is it just because of this charm bar that really, really makes the whole thing look really different? It looks like a completely different color. It almost looks pink. Like all this little bit here, that almost looks a little bit pink. Um, hmm. Okay. Did they change the interior? I don't think they did. Nope. Okay. And then crimson large dot. That's actually really cute. I like that. Even the charm bar doesn't bother me on that one. Um, where are we here? Heather Gray. Okay. What's the interior of this one now? Oh, yeah. Okay. The Love Black. Black Love Multi. That's all it's called. Um, hummingbird Floral. Ooh, it's kind of tempting. Yeah, I kind of like that print. I mean, I really like it, and I'm wondering if that's a good enough size that I can risk having a small little colored thing like that, little print like like that color. I don't want anything too large because I feel like I'm just going to get it really dirty. Um, and the charm bar kind of blends in on that one kind of well, so I don't hate it. Oh, I really like the color. Okay, I love that print. <gasps> no! Oh, my god okay i love maple's cream i have been wanting this on the outside of a bag for ages um i really loved this one in the skyliner and i don't know what happened i obviously did not make it fast enough because i have not seen it come back it sold out it seemed like in seconds that's probably the bag i would have wanted um but that's really kind of cute but i don't like that charm bar it's it feels like it's almost the wrong color. It feels like, okay, like what color is that? I mean, so what, what's the fabrication? Is that, I'm still not sure if that's leather, like if that's the vegan leather. But you know what? I think it ruins it. I think like that, uh oh, what'd I do? Blah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like that's just the wrong color. Like I've, obviously there's poppy red in it, like all the veins on the, on the leaves might be, but it just looks like the whole thing is a little bit like sort of pinkier maroony as opposed to poppy red. And I think that totally ruins it. Hmm. I would have liked that bag. I think I probably would have actually bought it if it wasn't for that red charm bar. I'm kind of sad. I wonder if I can get that and like take the stitching out, but then I'd probably ruin the bag, wouldn't I? Because that's not even just the stitching here. I don't even know how you take this thing out. I don't know how you take out that little metal, I don't know what that is, that little knobby thing. 
Oh, okay. I really like that bag, but I don't like the charm bar. Because, see, like this one, it blends in really nicely. Okay, that one doesn't, but it wasn't going to be a color I was going to get. The black didn't look bad on that one. I thought that was a good accent. Um, that looks terrible. <laughs> Who chose that color? If, I mean, if you're going to have a charm bar, and I'm not a massive fan of the charm bars, but if you're going to make a charm bar on that one, why on earth would that be that color? It looks like a Band-Aid. It looks like someone put a Band-Aid on this bag. Like the Band-Aid had, sorry, like the bag had a boo-boo. Okay, that's not the worst. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, oh, that's fun. Okay, hang on, I'll come back to that. I kind of like that color. See, that doesn't, that, that blends in pretty well. That blends in okay. That totally blends in. Now, I don't know what that looks like in real life, but it looks like this one totally blends in. Okay, I'm going to get back to that ocean blue. I haven't seen that in a little while. That's actually pretty cute. Actually, you know what? In the metallics, that looks pretty cute. But again, that doesn't, that doesn't work. This is matte and all the rest of it is like super shiny and that's a matte bar. Like I know you're supposed to put bling on it, but what if you don't? Like what if you're like me and you're not putting anything on it? Then you've just got this weird, I don't know, odd band-aid. Okay, um, that's not bad, but again, not shiny. So it doesn't really work with the bag. Um, okay, that's not terrible because you can't really see it, but let's just talk about that color. I actually love the ocean blue color and I actually don't mind the interior. It's just, it just screams like summer too much for me. Um, if I look inside and it's all ocean life, it just screams too summery. And um, then I would just use it in the summer, but I don't know. So I actually do like that though. Hmm. And that charm bar doesn't look like completely heinous on there. Uh, okay, pause navy. Eh. Again, that charm bar just sort of stands out because it's a different color and it's not printed. And the, what color is this one? Whims black. Okay, that one doesn't look terrible because the accents are black and it's it's okay. So that one's not the worst. Um, did I miss something? No, I didn't. Okay, so uh, let's just read here. Oh, I'm so sad about that maple's cream. I really like it. Okay, close your eyes, but keep reading. Huh? <laughs> and picture the perfect crossbody bag. <laughs> um, does it? Who writes these? Does it have plenty of zippable zip, zippable compartments? Plenty of room inside? A cute little top handle? Oh my god! I didn't even notice I had a top handle. Sorry, <laughs> I was just so distracted by the charm bar. I didn't see my favorite part, which is the top handle. Okay. Uh, la 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 la. Where was I? <laughs> cute little top handle. Easy carrying. Uh, a charm bar for a little personalization. Uh, sounds like you're matching the Skeeter crossbody with charm bar. Our long-awaited update to the original Skeeter. Okay. Measurements. All right. Got to get out the ruler. Um, six inches wide. So. Is that about the same size as like a like a swing? Um, and then eight inches high. So that's definitely taller than a swing because a swing is a square. And then three inches deep. Probably about the same depth as a swing. Okay. Um, and the drop handle. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's bigger than a swing, which is good because the swing's just way too small. Um, as cute as it is, it's way too small. But the swing has a whole different purpose. Like it's... It's, I think it's like a fun it little, um, like a, like a, <clears throat> like a nice bag, like something you could wear to a wedding. I'm not sure if I'd wear this to a wedding. I think it's a little too casual, whereas a swing is very, like you can, you can definitely dress up or you can dress down on that one. This one I think is much more casual. Um, like even the silver, I think is a little too cash. I wouldn't wear that to a wedding. I don't think so. Like none of these would be one of, would be a, a, a thing I would wear to like a nice occasion. Uh, whereas a swing, I think I could get away with it. Okay, features. So charm bar, yeah, whatever. It's really too bad that there's no way you can take that off. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay, one main zipper compartment, one top zipper pocket. Hmm, okay. Um, one front zipper pocket, one... So I lost, I, lost, so I lost my train of thought there. I was thinking about something else. I was going to say something. I lost my eyeballs. Where was I? Um, okay, sorry. This is my ruler. Uh, one zipper pocket, one top zipper pocket, uh, one front zipper pocket, top handle. Okay, there we go. Removable, adjustable strap. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, interior. So, front zipper pocket. So, inside that one has a retract. Ooh, key bungee. Okay, already I like it better than the swing. 
<laughs> um, clear, I, clear view ID window and two card slots. And then the main zipper has a clear view pocket, a zipper pocket, a cargo pocket, and the top zipper, which I really want to see now. What is that? Um, one zipper pocket, RFID pocket. Okay. So it, to me, it's like a, a slightly bigger swing, but more casual. So if I wanted something dressier, I would go with the swing. But if I want something that size, I'm just going somewhere, this would be the one to go with. Um, it's definitely got a lot of features. So let's look at this video. Did I miss anything? No, I got it all. Okay. Oh, uh oh, hang on. Does this mean that there's no video? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. I wonder, I wonder if it's like the same size as the Can Can, like the Can Can SE. I wonder if it's about that size. I should see if I can look that up. Because if so, because that's the one thing that Can Can didn't have, which was a top handle. And if it is, if it if it's like that, then I may have found the answer to my Can Can. I, I love my Can Cans, but I do reach for a top handle all the time. Ooh, the little drawbridge opening with the bungee. I like that a lot. Oh no, am I going to have to buy one of these? Crap. <laughs> But I do love my, I love my can cans. Two pen holders, see? A little privacy. And I think it has a clear view as well. Oh no, I may have to buy one of these. <gasps> yeah, see that zipper pocket in the back? You know what this looks like? Oh, there's another privacy pocket. Oh, look at that collection. That's so cute. Okay. Um. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't want to have to buy more bags. Um, I love, love, love my can can. I've got, I've got an old one, an original one, and I have a, uh, I have one in uh, like the like the SE in Peacock Multi, which I use all the time. Um, but I love that it has like tons of little features that the can can did not. Now the can can does have a water bottle holder, which this does not. So. If you're just sort of, you know, hanging about, you just want a nice little purse, I guess this is the one to go with. If you think you're going to go out and you're going to need a water bottle or an umbrella, you get the can-can. So I guess they're two sort of different bags. Um, oh, I really like this a lot. Hmm. So are there... Yeah, that's... I like that whole thing in the back there with a, with a little extra pocket. I love that. I totally love that even though in the back there's not a whole lot of room, but they give you one anyways just in case. I always like it when they give you a pocket just in case because you don't need it. Like if there's just, if you're carrying too much stuff and there's not enough space to put anything in those little pockets, then you don't use it. But if you happen to have something small or the way, like let's say you want to carry all your stuff in the back versus in the front, um, then you can and then you can have that little extra little pocket. I do like this bag. Ugh. Okay, but you know what? There's really, there's really nothing that's super, super jumping out at me. Um, I do love that drawbridge though. That drawbridge opening is beautiful because the one thing about the Can Can that I have, um, the SE, that front pocket is quite, it's, it's, it's narrow. It's really narrow. Um, and I, it, there, there's no key, there's no key bungee. So when I throw my keys in there, it's, they're sort of in there. So I do like that there's a key bungee in there. Um, I wonder how big that clear view pocket is. And I love this back thing. So, oh, okay. Okay. I, I do like this bag a lot and it is a good price today. The only problem is, do I need in, do I need two? Because I would have to make, I'm not, I'm not paying shipping <laughs> basically. Um, I almost refuse to pay shipping, um, which means I would probably have to get two of these, uh, in order to make free shipping. So, uh, but you know what? I don't know if I need it. I do have bags that are kind of small. So I have a couple of flappers. Like I said, I've got like the original um, uh, Can Can. I've got the SC. What else do I have? Um, I've got a couple of Rangers. Um, they're bigger, I know, than this. Like this is a small. This is like a. This is like a like a really cute small Ranger. Um, and it's got that. So like you know how like the the, the Ranger like the the Ranger Mini is almost like a east west but the regular ranger is a north south i kind of feel like this is like a mini ranger um like more authentically oh okay i really like it 
Okay, let's look at the colors real quick. Oh my god, that's so cute. Actually, I don't even mind it in that whimsy, in the whimsy black. Okay, and that's not usually my color palette. Um, okay, I would have gotten it for sure in that. If this thing didn't have a bright red charm bar on it, I would have bought it. Um, so, you know what? What's the interior? Yeah, they lost me on that charm bar. I would have bought this if there wasn't a charm bar. Oh, I love this bag. Ugh, maybe I'm gonna have to get it because it's so that's such a fun bag to have on Canada Day although I guess I do have a bag that I use on Canada Day I, I just got myself a uh, um, what's it called a flare 2 in poppy red and I told myself that would be my Canada Day bag so I guess I don't really need another one but this is adorable Ugh. okay I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I want it I like it I can see myself using this bag a lot but I just can't, I can't get over that charm bar. That's just too much. I think it's just so, so stark. I mean, I don't love them in the, like, at the best of times, I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, I know that people, you know, like, like they, in the videos, they show you that you can hang your, like, sunglasses off there, but there's no way I'm hanging anything off of that. There's no way that my sunglasses would live there because they would fall off for sure. And they'd probably get also get scuffed up. Um, and otherwise, what else would I use it for? I really can't think of anything else. Um, I guess I could hang, I don't know, like hand sanitizer, but I would use that little doohickey, like that little the little flap for the, um, uh, for the, um, what's it called? Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry, I can't think tonight. For the, uh, the phone pocket, that's where I usually put mine. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about this one. I do love this one. The ocean blue is really nice, but you know what? I don't need it in ocean blue. It's just not a color I really have anything I go that goes with. Um, I think the metallic silver, I still need to see it. I don't even think that would be a color I would get anyways. I love the hummingbird floral, but I just feel like I don't need it because I just, it's a color I don't, I don't see myself using because I feel like I would always be scared I'd get it dirty. Um, I do have a coupe in Dragonfly Multi. So if I like, if I want to use those kinds of colors and that, you know, that, that sort of color palette I already have something like that that I would use I don't think I mean like obviously if I need something larger then I would use this one but I don't use that one very often I don't use my coupe very often um, in this color so I don't see why I would use this one more often um, I don't know the Kelly Green's pretty cute the blue is pretty cute uh, the black is cool but it's just it's black what's the interior yeah, it's the fern. What is that thing called? Oh, hang on. Look, here it is. Um, I always forget what that's called. Abstract ferns. I always want to call it tropical something. Tropical, because it always looks like that tropical, um, was it tropical floral? I can't remember what that print was called, but I always think it's that. Um, I don't know what to do. I love this. I love the maple's cream, but it's just, it's got that charm bar. <laughs> um, doesn't that look like, like, like the, the, these colors bled out on the, uh, on the, uh, whimsy black. Like this looks like there's like a really nice color. Then all, they all bled out on a, like on a sidewalk or something. Uh, like if you see like paint when people like paint things or they put chalk on things and it runs and all the paint comes off. That's what that looks like to me. Um, oh, hang on. I didn't think I saw that. I don't think I saw the metallic silver had that interior. Oh no. Oh no. What's this called? Bouquet cream. So that's what's on the inside of the Kelly Green. I did not know that was called. I'm going to forget. Bouquet cream. Okay. Hang on. Let's just take a peek at... Oops. Let's just look at this metallic silver. I'm a sucker for this print. I love that interior so much. Um, and I don't have anything in it yet. I still don't think I'm going to get it because I just don't know about this silver and I'm not a I'm not a sparkly girl I'm not a silver shiny person so okay um I don't think I'm gonna be getting this one this time out um maybe one day when this comes down in price and there's still a million uh hey speaking of which I wonder how many of these there are okay I'm gonna do my inventory trick all right let's see oops did that go that didn't work there we go I just want to see how many of the maples cream they have oh by the way I found oh hello why is it still here? Hang on, let's get rid of this. <laughs> I don't know why that's still here. Um, okay, anyways, uh, I found a new trick. So instead of like going all the way out into the cart, I put 10,000, I just add one, 
and it will adjust and it'll tell me exactly how many is in there. 390. I'm good. All right. I'm going to wait. I don't think this is going to be disappearing anytime super soon. They've got 390. It's been on sale all day today. Um, uh, obviously not a lot of people have picked it up. I'm wondering if it's for the same reason that I'm not picking it up because that's bloody charm bar. Now I, if I could find a really, really nice, like maple leaf, like a beautiful red, like maple leaf, um, something like charm I could put right on there to cover the charm bar, I might do it, but I don't think I'd put anything dangly on it. And I certainly would not put any of the ones that Lug has. Um, I don't believe in putting my initials on stuff. That's just, to me, that's just, it doesn't work for me. Um, if, if it's, if it's a really cute image, maybe, but I don't know. I just don't think that would look good on there. Uh, cause that red is just so, it's just such a different red back there that I don't think I would, would put anything like silver or sparkly or anything on the front of that. It just doesn't work for me. Um, so yeah, I would have bought this. This would have been what I would have gotten and I maybe would have gotten another one in, I don't know, maybe the black or maybe in the metallic silver if it wasn't for the charm bar. So yeah, they lost me the charm bar. Oh, well, you know what? Just save some money. <laughs> hey, maybe it's in the mystery box. Hey, um, if so, then I don't know, I guess I'll have to live with a charm bar, <laughs> but at least I will have received it. So, all right, that's it. So that's the video went on way longer than I expected because I was really debating whether I should get this thing out loud. Um, so are you getting one? Let me know and tell me what you think. And what do you think of these charm bars? Um, is anyone using these? Does anyone actually use the charms? Um, like I know a lot of people love them, but I think you either love them or hate them. I think, uh, I don't hate them. I'm just not a fan of them. Uh, and I would never use it to put charms on them. And I think the the people who use the actual, like the dangle, I mean, those things, people were losing their charms left, right, and center. So uh, I, I'm i steering clear of all of those kinds of things. And that's just one more thing I can lose, and I just really don't feel like it. So let me know if you are getting them and uh, which colors and why you're getting them. Like, what are you using this for? Like, are you, Is this your everyday bag or are you just is this like your like muck around bag uh, I, I'm, I'm curious and tell me like I guess if you are getting the nicer colors like the like the more I don't know the most serious colors like the black and uh the I guess the metallic like are you would you wear it to like a like a wedding or a shower or something anyway so that's it thanks so much for watching take care and I'll see you next time